Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the future. My name is Chris Kalabukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking AI, startups, and the future. Not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, this is the 800th or so episode of Think Future. And I had a great conversation with uh, some one of my interviews the other day. And we were talking about how we could use AI to take the sum total of the information that we have created. Us content creators put stuff online, put stuff on the internet, and AI comes in and reads it and generates things out of it. That we have, we probably have, we all have, I wouldn't be surprised if you're active on social media that we've all created enough content right there out on the internet as of today where if we took an AI and we focused it on your content, we focused it on the way you speak, the things you do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And if we had deep information on you specifically, where we got into your emails and all that stuff, we would be able to probably relatively easily construct a digital twin of you, recreate you, an avatar of you, an electronic copy of you. And some people might go, oh my God, that is the worst thing ever. I can't imagine having another copy of myself out there. It would be awful. But if you ask me, it's kind of good. I think of it as a type of immortality because everything that I've created, sure, it might not be able to grow in this point. I think I was reading an article about this in Wired Magazine where somebody tried to do that. They tried to create a copy of their dad and they took all of their papers and they took all of their works and they put it into this software program and he was conversing with it as if he was talking with his father and I remember reading the end of the article is he was lamenting that this version of his father never said I love you to him when he was alive and he was complaining that the virtual version of his father didn't do it either and I feel like, well, if you take this, this avatar, you create this avatar from an individual, somebody who would never do it in any way, what would make you think that they would do it later? Although, that's technology from a few years behind. I wouldn't be surprised if now, in this day, today, there may be a way for that avatar to actually grow, to change, to become a better human being. Who knows? But if you ask me, I can think that this can only be a good thing. Avatars of ourselves living into the future. And this is one of the things about human beings, is that we want to make our mark on the world. We're all desperate to make our mark on the world so that something will survive after we've gone. And originally, the only thing we could do was create kids, create children, take our DNA and pass our DNA on to future generations. So future generations may not know us personally, but our DNA, bits of our DNA, bits of our character get moved into future generations biologically. But we are finally entering an era right now where we don't have to do that anymore. We can take cr and create avatar versions of ourselves using generative AI to create another version of you. And this other version of you can live forever beyond when you pass. Imagine it. It's like, it's literally immortality. It may not be you personally, but it is an avatar of you. It's a version of you that will live on and on and on after you've gone. Now, if you ask me, this could give people peace to think to themselves, one of the things I'm going to be sad about is that I won't be here for when my children and my children's children, my children's children's children have grandchildren and generations from now, they won't know me. 
And that could be said, that could be true of my generation because I don't really know my dad or my parents or my parents' parents much because they didn't create as much stuff to be able to develop an avatar for me to be able to converse with them. I can't create a version of my father and talk to him. But my children can take, create versions of me. Their children can create versions of me and talk to me. There may be a version of me that goes on. And if you ask me, doesn't that give you peace to think that a version of you will go on, even though it's an electronic version, and it may be locked in time? Doesn't that give you pause to think that we are may be, already be immortal beings? We may have already cinched our immortality by creating these the ability to create digital twins that can live long 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 after we are gone and this is what i love about the human race we are amazing we can do so many amazing things we can do so many good things and we need to focus on doing these good things and being able to create virtual avatars of individuals and let them live on on and on and on if you ask me is a good thing we may have already achieved immortality we just don't know it yet that's it for me for today see you next time and until then don't forget to think future mm -hmm.